with all these new LED cob lights coming out that are bicolor, it makes me wonder, are tungsten lights dead? Some might think that yes, tungsten lights are dead because the new LED cob lights are much brighter than a 1000 watt or 650 watt Fresnel lens tungsten light. And they can go from colors from 6,500 degrees Kelvin all the way down to 2,700 degrees Kelvin. So you don't have to add any gels. And when you add gels, you lose light. We all know that. But are tungsten lights dead? Still, no. I still keep a set of tungsten lights around for all kinds of different lighting. Maybe it's just lighting up windows. Maybe I have an exterior shot and I want the windows all lit up inside a home and I want those to be orange. So I'm gonna use that inside, bounce it into a ceiling and then get a nice orange glow through the windows. That's one way of keeping these tungsten lights around forever. Another thing, they normally never go bad. You can always repair, fix them, add wiring, add new sockets to them, and you can keep these things around for a lifetime. Another thing, they're extremely cheap. Not extremely cheap, but they range from around $300 to $600. That's probably about the same price you're going to pay for a new LED mono cob light. Depending on the manufacturer and the brand, you could probably get a little bit cheaper come in that same range. But you can't live off just one light. I like to have a selection of many different types of lights. I like to have this maybe for the daylight reasons and it being much brighter than this. I also like a mono light with the Bowens mount so I can add different attachments to it to modify the light for the look that I want. But I still really love the look of Fresnel lenses. Now I can add a Fresnel to this through the Bowens mount but that's gonna cost me extra money too. So I always gotta have a selection of LED panels, LED cob lights, um, and then tungsten lights and HMI lights. I love them all. Now, I don't have any HMI lights in my studio. It's usually something that I rent, but, and they're more expensive. They're way more expensive than anything else. But tungsten lights, you can find these used, very cheap, and maybe it has some faulty wiring and you can just purchase some wiring and we rewire the light and it'll live on forever. I've been using something like Mole Richardson lights 30 years and those lights have been around for 60 years and they were still getting use on a lot of the commercials and film sets that I was working on. And then for instance, I just worked, well, 2019, I worked on a film, and inside the studio, we used all tungsten lighting. Now, it is a period piece, and we were going to see the lights, so we had to have lights that were very similar to the time period that we were shooting, but still need that orangish look, something we could color correct to, run our Kelvin up, maybe 4400, get a little mixed light, not quite white and not quite orange, somewhere in the middle there. Also, need for practical lighting, if you have something like this lamp back here, that's not gonna light my face. I can mimic lighting my face with something like this and then softening this light with some diffusion, some opal, uh, some 250 depending on how soft I want it or I can bounce it into a card or something like that So no, I've got to still keep all my tungsten lights I'm never gonna get rid of these these are gonna be my workhorse forever for every film Commercial everything I do. I might pull these out every now and again. I love LED cob lights I love the power that you're getting out of these new LED lights now, but they're not always color perfect, but the tungstens, they are always color perfect. They're always pretty much going to be 3200 degrees Kelvin. 
and you can save money if you're renting and you're shooting inside a studio. There's not always a sense for you to have to go buy uh, a bunch of LED daylights. You can get by renting studio tungsten lights and using those to light up everything much cheaper than you can rent HMIs. So if you're on a budget and you're inside and you're shooting studio stuff, that's the way to go. Also, here we go back to day and night, night shots. Night shots, you can easily turn these white and then turn this daylight balance blue. So I can run my Kelvin down to 3200 degrees Kelvin, which will make this light white and then this 5600 degree Kelvin light more blue. And then I can add some gel onto that depending on my flavor and look that I want. And some gel back there. If I want a much deeper looking blue, I can do it that way. And right now in my studio, I'm using tungsten lights. I'm lighting my face off tungsten. I'm lighting the background with some tungsten lights. Just to give you an idea, that's why it's gonna have that orangish kind of look. And what we'll do is we'll switch it from this, 3200, over to this, 5600, and vice versa. Back 3200, white light, and then back 5600 to more orangish looking light. Also, if you're looking for that cinematic teal and orange look that everybody talks about and is most common in all movies today, that's how you're gonna achieve that look. You're gonna have to have some orangish tungsten light lighting your characters and your subjects with some mixed 5600 degree light coming in through windows and doing that kind of mess. So in the next video, I'm gonna actually pop these out and really take a look at the light. Some certain things I really love, like Fresnel lenses and why I love Fresnel lenses. Mostly it's about cutting and shaping the, the, the light. And a Fresnel lens gives you a much more even stroke of light that is much easier to cut. If you really want hard, crisp shadows, that's the way to go. If you don't care and you just want it to be soft and all over the place and soften your shadows, you can still do the same thing with this by bouncing and making book lights and bounce and return through a diffusion or put some diffusion in front of it to make it softer. But I really want to take a look at that over in our studio in the next video. So are tungsten lights dead? No. I still see them in every movie that I've ever worked on. Somebody's got a kit of 2,000, 5,000, 650s, 1,000s, maybe some 300s, maybe some dado lights, things like this, always on a kit on set or even in Kino flows. Some people like that salt and pepper Kino flow. You can do daylight, you can do tungsten balanced in your Kino flow. And some people like to mix the tubes up and get what they call the salt and pepper look not so white on the face, adds a little bit more color onto skin tones. So if you like this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, do all that notification bell stuff. And I know there's many of you out there who are not subscribing and watching videos. It's free. Hit that subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video when we take a look at these guys in an actual setting.